Hey, <laughs> Pipsy. Good morning. Beautiful day today. Look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. Wonderful. Just out this morning with Minnie's dad, Paul Seng, as we call him. He's uh, doing a spot of eel hunting. Camerai! Barai! 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 Snails! And to leg? To jaya pai, I mean, you pile out. Mm -mm. I bet one, two. <laughs> Give me me two wheels already. <laughs> Can't believe the difference after the last few days. There's been uh, I think there's 14 provinces that have been totally flooded out. Well, not totally, but flooded out uh, across Thailand. I mean, we, we got it quite heavy. In fact, you can see how the clongs filled up. But it hasn't rained for two days here now. So it was, it was a little bit higher than that. I don't believe in luck, really. But it's... Uh, Mother Nature will do what it's going to do. You're either fortunate or you're not. See, the dam's full anyway. Totally. <laughs> He's stealing. Stealing Makkoa. Which is uh, little eggplants, little round eggplants. They're using um, Genkiwan which is uh, green curries or any other curry so he's got the big snails in there look not for me but I'd eat it if I had to I suppose got a couple of chicks born in the last couple of days I'll go and have a check on them the three chicks that were born last week they all died in the end something not right when they're born they they can live on the egg yolk for a couple of days I'm sort of learning now myself if they don't start pecking at food and they show no interest in it then there's not a lot you can do for them they're just gonna die and I've got a I've got a one that's got some kind of disease on it Mimi went out and bought some medicine yesterday afternoon and uh, I've ad <coughs> administered that whether it'll do any good or not I'm not sure but I got a reply from it uh, an email reply from somebody I mean it must have been three weeks ago now um, he's advertising that was saying selling diametaceous earth and uh, anyway he said he had a problem or I only just got my message and uh, hopefully I'm going to get some of that and for anybody that doesn't know what it is it's a parasite killer more or less and what you can do you can it doesn't affect humans and uh, poultry m mammals you can put it in the, the food and it acts as a natural parasite killer like a dewormer you can dust the feathers, you know, let the chickens do a dust bath in the stuff and it'll kill any mites that are on the, you know, growing, growing on the bodies. Get right in underneath the feathers. And it's just a general all round natural pesticide. So around in here, I get lots of red ants. Now I don't want to spray poisons. Because obviously, the, you know, the chickens are scratching around and eating and in this corner especially I get a lot of ants I don't know if you can see them but they're, they're in there
and obviously that's not pleasant if you're sitting on eggs and the, the ants are crawling all over the eggs and for the new newly hatched chicks same I can hear I can hear a chick under the sofa under the sofa here Let's let me have a look there you go Not anymore, but I do believe she goes back onto the eggs, and the chick follows her, which is a good thing. Let's have a look. <laughs> Try and talk in between the uh, cock crows. There's a lot of eggs there that hopefully are fertilised and not far from hatching. Interesting colours on that one, actually. Anyway, we'll see. I'm not too fussed about getting too many silkies because I only keep them for fun, not for food. And I will sell them. I'll put a sign up outside. Anybody driving by that wants them. Anyway, these are the ones, oh, the one in here that's got sick. See the brown staining on its, uh, on its wings not very pleasant at all underneath there that's why I mean if I can get that diatomaceous earth I can uh, if he if he lives I could put that in there and kill any any mites or something that's causing the infection he's still alive anyway and he you know he's walking around he's not just staying there he's always gonna drop dead the next minute so here's the other little chicks, look. Got some brown ones, which is good. Got three brown ones. There is two white ones, two more white ones, but they've died since, but this one's sitting there. Come on. Are you gonna, are you gonna follow? I think the rest of them are okay. I think that one will be okay. I'm not sure. So let's see. So, We'll join in with the with the hen. See how the hen scratches at the ground. That's to you know, if they're outside in the wild to unearth any any bugs, any any food sources that that are present in the ground. <coughs> Worms and bugs, that kind of thing. Now this one don't seem to be joining in. Where's the others? I see. When she clucks, they they go to where where her beak is and automatically start looking for food. Looks a bit unsteady on his legs as well. I might give him one drop of the medicine, see if that will help. You can see I've got the red water there. There's medicine in that water as well. Put it everywhere. In here. It comes in a little sachet and you sprinkle it in. Oh, God, what's going on in here? Animals never do what you want. They've tipped this up. Tip that up, and now the eggs are everywhere. Hey. You do your best to help these stupid, dumb creatures, and this is what you get. Let me get her out. Come on, ow, 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 ow. come on, she's sitting on duck, duck eggs now actually. Ow, 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 ow. So the, the, the eggs that hatched that she was set on, the, the chickens, they all died. <laughs> ow. Give up. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. Just let me uh, use, use it, this breeze block. I'll oh, wedge you in there. Oh yeah, well they're your eggs and you don't sit. Serve yourself right. You little strawberry butterfly girl you are. Too busy playing with a man. She's good though. She's been sat quite a while. Duck eggs do take 
It'll take four weeks before they hatch. Look at these lot. Lazy. I let them out yesterday and the day before as an experiment and they all ran free and uh, wasn't too bad. They didn't run away. So hopefully now, now they're, you know, a little bit older, they'll be um, good to go. And any kids that I do have subsequently, they will uh, follow the parents. Well, that's the plan anyway. You say the only problem I've got is this road. If they just bolt for the gate and get out, you know, people driving by, if they're coming by fast, they might not see them, they might not be able to react in time. Even people that know I've got goats here and chickens and that, they don't care, they'll just tear us down the road as fast as they want. Oh, <laughs> what's this here, look? Mr. Toad. He obviously comes in on the night because when the light's on he gets to eat, eat bugs. But they're not, they're not a pest on many so no need to get rid of him. It would be beneficial if anything. Ah oh, yeah, here's this medicine. Let's see if I can take it outside and show you. Can't read what it says because it's in, in Thai. It's called Super Green anyway. So if anybody does know what it is, I want to leave a comment, that would be appreciated. I've asked Mimi and I just get, it's medicine, it's really good, uh, I know that, but I, I don't know of any active ingredients or what it treats, There's something written there, anyway, put that back. See if there's any eggs in here. That's what I was going to look at initially. No. So that's silky stop lane. I took three eggs out of there the other day and I put them in the incubator. I've not been round the back, I don't think, for a little while with a, with a video camera. Look how quickly this papaya tree is growing as well. It's not really a tree but a papaya plant. Let's have a little walk around the back then. The lime trees, it's not great. And again, I'm going to spray that with diametaceous earth. Any bugs that are on there, it should kill. Look, ant trails here, look. There, there. Really nasty ones. That leave a big itch for days on end. Hard to sleep at night when you when you're covering those little bites. All right, what we've got here is a coconut coconut plant. This is a galangal. The goats like to eat on that. They also oh shoes come off. <laughs> they eat on the cassava plant as well. Cassava, tapioca, mansampalang, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know if that's turmeric in there, may well be. This lime tree is doing a, quite a bit better than the, other, than the other one, but still. Not, these leaves here aren't doing too well. And over there, a little bit discoloured. But it's alive and it's grown a little bit. That's all that matters. I wish the goats would eat this green stuff on the ground. Some looks like some kind of squash. The goats do eat this when it's green. Obviously when they go orange and that they're, they're getting ripe and then down there you'll see they just drop seed and grow like crazy. 
the goats eat this plant as well. <laughs> this tree, they're, they're quite a pretty tree. And some more cassava here. Another coconut plant. I think, looking at that, I think it's a lamiae. Pretty sure it is. They don't really grow around here. Where I just went in uh, um, Chantaburi, they grow like crazy there, down by the Cambodian border, and they grow up in the northern regions. Here is the hottest part of Thailand in the, in, in the summer. You know, around about so sort of like late February, March, April, it gets really hot. The banana plants are coming on well. Pull all that down, look at all them fruits. And look, I don't know if you can remember this, this is a Noina plant or Bokiap in Thai, in Isan, Noina in Thai, and it's a custard apple tree in English. It's shot up that has. I've seen no flowers yet. No, I don't know when that, if and when that will fruit. I'm sure it will, but I don't know when. Oh, yeah, the two females I bought have turned out to be male, sod's law. And he's starting to gobble, gobble, gobble now. <laughs> yeah, well, not the end of the world. These sugar cane don't half grow. The goats, when I let them out here, they don't really eat it. But when I, when I cut it and I put it in the in their room, they do. Another look over the top of here. Wow! Look at that. I'm saying wow because I'm... Look, see how thick the base of this banana plant's got. Wow, typical, can't get in. Look at that. Got, got a little one shooting off there. And dig that out and plant it elsewhere so we don't take all the nutrients from the parent plant. <coughs> My buck me or oh, canon. Buck me in Isan, canon in Thai, and jackfruit in English. The winds hit this banana plant a little bit. <laughs> Look at this here. Fence posts leaning a bit. And there. Obviously need to do something to sort that out. Uh, I've got some papaya on there. Or malago as they call it in Thai. Not sure if uh, they have an Isan word for it. Pop pop. Mango trees not not really grown much. It's got a bit of new growth on it, but not too much. Yeah, still got the bees in there. And now there's another another type of bee that's moved in, and they're they're the aggressive ones. Which I got stung Christmas Eve. Got bit all over, stung all over the place. Arms, legs, face, nose, eye, just near my eye. Not nice. So I'll stay clear of that for now. Anyway. That's it. As I, as I say anyway, I think on a previous video, Mimi took my fence down so she could burn rubbish. I'm just like, well, there's all this area here, burn here. Or over there. <laughs>